all right guys welcome back so we're gonna have to get this log unloaded uh i've decided that i'm going to just probably keep it here at the, the sawmill my here my sawmill um i've got the uh sawmill trailer just about finished i've just got some welding to do on it but i needed to get this log hauled there's actually another half <laughs> to that log that i have to go get today and uh also got to run into town and pay a bill uh so anyways guys we're gonna get this thing offloaded so and then we're going to go and get the the other half of this log hopefully before dark <laughs> so i can actually get some footage of that place in decent daylight so guys here we go don't know this is my youngest son Brandon and uh, those of you who were at the uh, the last YouTube meetup the Crockers YouTube meetup or whatever in uh, prior Oklahoma uh, my whole family was there with me and so he was there so guys meet Brandon Hood <laughs> I see him smiling up there no <laughs> no that's just your natural look We're going to name him Smiley.
until it's not. That's as far as it's going to go. We need to rehook. Just a second, I gotta tap on those. I don't know where my axe is. Did you take the axes out of the cab? No, they're in there. Two are behind my seat and the little hatchets right down in the middle. Okay. Alright, tighten it up a bit. Tighten it. Tighten it. 
Whoa. I don't think that's gonna work man where's a good place to put this camera there is no good places to put the camera <laughs> uh oh, dad give it i need both hands free Keep going. Hey, no, it ain't going no further. All right, set it down. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa board's not going the way I wanted it to. All right, set it on down. Yep, time for the dangerous part. Loosen it up.
Come here. Get over here. face Yeehaw! uh yeah set it down hey whoa 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 pick it back up keep going okay let me get this lined up for a little better drop here Try to make the log yard look kind of neat. All right, set her down. Oh, nope, pick it back up. I didn't see that log over there. Keep going. All right, whoa, whoa. Maybe too much. Uh, all right, set it down. On down. On down. Oh. Broke it. Dad gummit. Ron Witherspoon. Man, you got me saying dad gummit all the time now. Dad gummit. <laughs> Shoot dang, dad gummit. Old son. Ah, well. I guess that's about that that's that yeah is that my new saying that's that well that's that uh and now pretty much all we got to do is pull forward and drop this log on the ground the power of editing <laughs> all right brandon Pull us out from underneath this log. He's about old enough to have his driver's license, but he's been driving ever since what? You was 14? 13? Since I was 10. 10. Yeah, I had to get on the popo. <laughs> I gotta move because he'll sling mud on me most likely. There it is. Good deal. Good deal. What do you guys think? I need a new logging truck? <laughs> I think so. All right. Uh, put the uh, the log tongs and everything in the bed of the truck. And uh, where's the uh, remote? Give me the remote. Yeah. All right guys, so some of you guys wanted a video just about the Log Arch trailer. So I guess this will be that video or one of them. Uh, basically this was a, like a homemade uh, car hauling trailer. It had a uh, about a three foot uh, dovetail or so on the back of it, which I ended up cutting off because I didn't think I needed that length on the trailer. It was kind of like dead space to me and so basically i got a piece of two inch schedule 40 pipe here uh got my uh my trailer jack uh deals here and an old uh padlock that i can't get off there who knows why it's probably because it's full of uh road grime but uh then i've got slots cut in here to where i can still put my uh my ramps on there um Quit messing with that you don't even know what i'm fixing to do we still have to bring this up well no we don't go ahead and hook it i'm stupid are you gonna pull on that eventually <laughs> letting that bird's nest inside there on that spool kids all right so this one right here we've got this hole 
that hole and that hole right there okay this one right here i use whenever i'm stacking uh logs up you know in the rare instance that i ever need to stack them up real high or anything uh, i can put the log arch in this loading position right here which brings this thing like i think it's pretty much straight up and down um, i would show you guys right now but i actually have to go into town and drive underneath an awning <laughs> to pay a bill so i want this kind of back and lower than normal um, so yeah we got uh, brand new uh tires on here that i i put on here when i rebuilt this trailer we got 3500 pound axles we have electric brakes on both axles um i have the this is the power to the to the uh to the winch of course the trailer and then uh this is a 12,000 pound winch from harbor freight which i got like 40 percent off or something they had a coupon i believe it was like 40 percent off uh let's see what else we have uh quarter sawn or mostly quarter sawn oak boards for the deck here and looks like this one here is not faring too well but yeah that's to be expected what can i say i have a sawmill i can make more boards right then this is our connection point right here we got a half inch plate the tubing here is two inch by three inch uh quarter inch wall that's what makes up the the whole arch right here then uh up here we have let me get up here oh right here we have a half inch plate with a hole cut in it so that hook can be hooked right here and we can put another snatch block on and do like a double line pull also we have that one right there so if we need to do a double line pull to offload uh we can do that also then up here at the front i have this clevis right here a 21 ton clevis right here that i can actually turn it like this i can hook my hook on here and that way once i have a log up here on the trailer i can do a double line pull and get it all the way up here so you know i don't know what else you guys want to know about the trailer um other than maybe like geometry or something and how i figured out the geometry well it was a whole lot of standing there for hours on end staring at it and thunking in my head <laughs> and a whole lot of years of you know well i had years of running a wrecker uh years of fabrication work and welding and everything i've worked in multiple uh, welding shops like building railroad cars stuff like that and just having a general good idea of you know the strength of you know certain size pieces of steel or whatever structural steel uh and so i, I came up with this and this right here you know this is a design that i came up with myself it's all original to me uh the only thing that isn't is the arch itself uh i kind of copied the the idea off of matt cremona as far as the arch but with the uh the arms right here that hold it in position that right there is 100 percent me it took two 20 foot sticks of two by three to make this arch and then we got some quarter inch i think it is a uh, plate right here for the gussets that i cut out with a, a torch and an angle grinder uh the half inch plate stuff that was all you know just some scrap metal that i had laying around here it used to actually be the backstop at my little shooting range back there um so yeah and that's also that's how i came up with this right here and then we got a piece of pipe right here and this is just a pin from like a 30 ton clevis <laughs> uh, that i figured i was probably never going to use anyway and actually i have two of them right over there move thank you i got two of them right over here i'll show you real quick where where those pins came from and uh the welding shop that i used to work in my boss 
I don't know, a guy, I guess, gave those to him, like, as half payment or something for a job. So, get some of this stuff out of the way here. So, yeah, these are the clevises right here. Oh, they're not 30 ton. They're 29 ton. Oops, my bad. <laughs> like it matters. All right, so, guys, as you can see, the sawmill is down at the moment until i get the uh the sawmill trailer done i know you guys are probably thinking where's the footage of this like where's the videos Let's get the videos out there well i want to do the videos justice this time i don't want to just put them together real quick and haphazardly uh so it's going to take me some time guys i, I don't want to screw it up because you know you only get one chance uh to do it right right Except for you can, you know, do multiple takes a lot of times on building something. But uh, it's better if you can get it the first time, get it right. And uh, I don't want to put a crappy video out on building the sawmill trailer. I didn't get very good video on building the log arch trailer because, I don't know, I just, I take a lot of things for granted. Like, I sit there and think, you know, people know this stuff or something and so i just i guess i take it for granted i probably shouldn't do that because there's a lot of younger people out there that don't have the experience that i have and that is actually why i'm on youtube is to try to help people you know learn there are ways uh to do things if you want to do something and get out there and get it done and there's more than a hundred thousand ways to skin a cat so to speak um so anyway yeah, I don't know what else you guys want to know about this. I mean, you go to the scrap yard, you can get pens like this right here a lot of times because that's where that came from. And, uh, you know, I just, I made these little uh, ear pieces right here, welded them on. And, you know, this trailer has been kind of a, I don't know, like it's been modified several times and it just, it works good. Um, now things that I would change on it if I had, you know, let's say if money was not a thing, like if, if money didn't matter, like if I was, you know, real rich or something, uh, how would I change this? Um, so what I would do now, you guys don't steal my idea. I'm going to tell you my idea here. I would have a, a hydraulic Ram right inside a track right here. And there would only be one of these ears that would move back and forth on that hydraulic track. They would just have wheels inside the channel iron right here and that way i would just have like another one of these right here to where if i wanted to move this i wouldn't have to mess around with uh pinning and unpinning it right there i would just hit a button and this could go back as far as i wanted it to uh to a, to an extent and it, it would go forward as far as i wanted it to to an extent uh, i would probably put the longest hydraulic ram in there that i could and i'd have a one ton truck pulling this thing around that's crew cab and four-wheel drive something that doesn't get stuck so easily but anyways guys there's a little over 2,000 pound log right there red oak and i don't know really what i'm going to make out of it but i'm going to make something out of it maybe i'll probably get a post out of it and quite a few boards maybe do what do you think some hardwood flooring i don't know we need some new hardwood flooring for our house. We got that cheap uh, laminate flooring, if you want to call it that. The the stuff that if it gets wet, it kind of puffs up and falls apart. So I want to replace that stuff and put some actual hardwood flooring in the house. And I've got a good stack over there. You can't see it from here, but there's a pretty good stack going over there of some white oak and red oak. It's just a mixture. and. Uh, it's been sitting there drying for almost a year now i need a lot more of it so that might be what this will become that's for sure what this log right here is probably going to end up being that's not a real good log right there but there is some good wood in that and uh i know this this knot right here is what really kind of messes it up but it'll still make some good hardwood flooring so guys I'm going to get out of here. Uh, got to go pay a bill and then head on down uh, and pick up the other logs. So we'll see you guys later. 
thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe share the videos if you would guys that would help me out a ton and uh we'll see you next time thanks for watching